Colorado's attention, present arms. a year at this flagpole on Flag Day. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great day. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll do the flag folding ceremony. The colors of our country has been advanced by the flag folding detail of the Veteran Guard, 3rd Regiment Infantry, a historical and ceremonial regiment of the National Guard of Pennsylvania. This regiment dates back to the Associated, founded by Benjamin Franklin 262 years ago in 1747. The uniforms you see here today date back to the 18th century. flag you see before you drape the casket of First Sergeant John Wesley Seifert, father of our officer today, Lieutenant Colonel Gary Seifert. <coughs> the flag falling ceremony represents the same religious principle on which our country was originally founded. A portion of the flag donating honor is the compound of blue containing the stars representing the states our veterans served in uniform. The Canton field of blue dresses from left to right and is inverted when draped as a bowl on a casket of a veteran who has served our country in uniform. In the armed forces of the United States, at the ceremony of retreat, the flag is lowered, folded in a triangle fold, kept on the watch throughout the night as a tribute to a nation on the dead. The next morning, it is brought out in a ceremony of reverie, run aloft as a symbol of our belief in the resurrection of the body. The fox flag is a symbol of light. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in the eternal light. 
The third hall is made of honor and the remembrance of the veterans deporting our ranks who have gave a portion of the life for the defense of our country to obtain peace throughout the world. The fourth hall represents our weaker nature who as American citizens trusting in God this to him we turn in time of peace as well as the time of war for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country, for in the words of the famous Stephen Decatur, our country, dealing with other countries, may he always be right, but is still our country right or wrong. The sixth fold is it for our war our hearts lie, and it's for our hearts that we pledge flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh call is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the same armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all our enemies, whether to be found within or without the boundaries of our Republic. The eighth call the tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, so that we see the light of day into honor mother, for whom it lies on mother's day. The ninth fall is a tribute to womanhood, for it has been to the faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the characters of the men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to Father, for he too was given of his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold is in the eyes of a Hebrew citizen, which represents the lower portion of the seal of King of David, King Solomon, and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold is in the eyes of a Christian citizen, which represents the emblem of eternity and glorifies in the eyes God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. When a flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our national motto, in God we trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked in, it takes on the appearance of a cocked hat ever reminding us of the soldiers who served on the General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served on the Captain John Paul Jones, who were followed by the comrades and shipmates of the armed forces of the United States, ever pre preserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedom we are enjoying today. After the flag is completely folded, it's handed to the office of the day, the officer presents the flag to the family of the one being honored with the following statement. This flag is presented on behalf of the President of the United States and a grateful nation as a token of our appreciation for the honorable and faithful service by your loved ones. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to dedicate this flag holding ceremony in honor of the many men and women of our armed forces who have lost their lives in defense of freedom. This time, Todd, ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Major.